recipe from my father-in-law. And if you're meat lovers, you're going to love this recipe. I will show you how he prepares and he cooks the meat with one special ingredient, very secret ingredient. He we're going to cook meat Calabria style because he's from Calabria. And just stick around and watch me and let's get started. I will introduce my ingredients. So what I'm going to use today, it's a very interesting recipe, very simple ingredients, and uh, one special ingredient is coming soon, I'm going to show you. So one uh, big onion or two small onions, four cloves of garlic, oregano, passata, it looks like that, a little bit of olive oil and salt and meat. I'm using meat, um, it's sirloin tip meat, but and a slice, like a big slices. You can use any meat you like. Okay, and one special ingredient is coming soon. Okay, so now come over here, let's close. So how are we going to cook? So I took a pot, medium heat, and I'm going to put approximately a quarter of the cup of the olive oil okay now this is uh, four cloves of garlic so i just smashed them a little bit and i'm going to put them so i didn't ask uh, cut them so just like that okay so garlic so this is i do like this okay and now i'm going to put our special ingredient which is bomba so it's a bomba italiana so it's a um, it's a calabra spread. It's uh, hot peppers, it's chili peppers. There is um, a little bit of um, uh, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, it's all ingredients. You can buy at any Italian stores. Bomba Italiana, okay? So it's amazing. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look. It's like this, see? So we put I'm going to reduce because it's going to okay. So that's how it looks like, but if you won't be able to find it, you can just put um red chili pepper. Okay, so now we are going to put meat. See how it looks like? Beautiful. And now we're going to put meat like this. I will increase a little bit of the heat. And um, what we are going to do, we have to brown a little bit. So just for, I would say, five minutes, five to ten minutes, and um, on medium high, okay? So that's the heat, medium high. And then I'm going to show what I'm going to do next. I want to show you, see, like we are browning the meat a little bit. See how beautiful it is. So all these flavors of the spread, right? Calabra spread goes inside of your meat. The garlic, the herbs, the amazing flavors all infused in your meat. Now we are going to put onion. Let's say like in a 10 minutes when you're cooking your meat. Now we're going to put onion. Okay. oregano it comes from Sicily this oregano so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut like a branch of oregano in our meat okay? like that so we're going to cook meat with the oregano I'm for how long I would say for 10 minutes and um, just uh, I would say I reduce the heat a little bit because you don't want to burn your meat and if you think you need to add a little bit more olive oil please do just a little bit not much um, 
if you guys can see, so uh, we put that color breast spread bomber. It gives amazing colors and uh, the smell is amazing. All these herbs infusion in the meat. We can put a little bit like one um, cup, to one teaspoon of salt. But again, adjust it to your taste. Now, I forgot to mention, so one cup of um, wine goes in. You can use your favorite wine, and I'm using red wine, okay? So red wine, and just um, for another five minutes, try to cook on uh, medium heat, okay? So wine, it uh, will give amazing flavor to your meat. Just for five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes with the wine, we just reduced a little bit. So goes passata. Okay, so this is passata. It's strained tomatoes. We're going to put inside. Let me see if we need one or two. So one, let me see. Yeah, we're going to add two. So two cans of passata, and each one is 796 ml. Okay, so it's 800 ml each. Okay, so that's great. And now we're going to mix everything together. Beautiful. So let me just mix. And so what we are going to do now, I'm going to cover and we are going to cook for, depends again, what meat you're using. We are going to cook um, until it's ready. So sometimes it might take for a couple hours, so on a low heat. Just because we are going to cook for a couple hours, so just make sure that it's enough liquid there because meat is going to absorb. So I can add a little bit of like water, just, just very little, like just see if you have enough of water, of liquid. So I'm using the passata, which is strained tomatoes, but if you have your homemade uh, tomato sauce or just any tomato sauce, it's good too, okay? Okay guys, it's time to try. So I put my meat with the pasta and I wanted to see how it looks. Come over here and enjoy. From my family to yours. Amazing recipe from my father. -in -law. And I'm going to try now. So let me just pick this piece. That's so delicious. Oh my god. Amazing. And I will take some pasta. I'm going to cut and I want you to see. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I want you to see how it's inside. It's absolutely amazing. Let's see. Like this. Very nice and soft. It's melting in the mouth. Let's see. And with the pasta, I'm going to try. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. I can stop eating. Mm. It's very tasty, very delicious. You feel our special ingredient, and I told you what it is. It's a bomba, Italiana color press spread. We add in our meat sauce. It feels some spicy and oh if you don't have it you can use um, chili pepper and basil it's and oregano you feel it's amazing and please enjoy it from my family to yours and i want to say thank you so much for watching me today and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and give a like bye bye